In every video I make about Canelo Alvarez, I always talk about how he creates pressure on his opponents by inching his lead foot into punching range while keeping the rest of his body back. This allows him to be in punching range where he could do damage to his opponent, but by leaving his body back, it gives him a split second longer to see punches coming his way. The key to setting up this pressure is by unconventionally stepping the rear foot forward first, then following with the lead foot. This is the opposite of the fundamental practice of stepping forward with the lead foot first. One of the benefits of this pressure is that it creates the illusion that Canelo is further away than he really is. The lead foot determines distance, not the head, not the gloves. So the lean back from Canelo tricks Ryder into thinking that he's at a safe distance. So again we see Canelo stepping with his rear foot, then his lead foot, coming forward again rear foot, then lead foot. And you notice here that Ryder probes with his lead hand to check the distance. And this is a good thing from Ryder, he's making sure that Canelo isn't in punching range. And this will keep him safe actually. And after the probe one more time, Canelo steps forward with his rear foot, then his lead foot into punching range. But the thing is Canelo leans back as he steps to make it look like he's the same distance away tricking Ryder into thinking he's still safe, because Ryder just probed and noticed that Canelo was too far, but then Canelo took another step forward to make it look like he's still the same distance away after he leans back. But since Canelo stepped his lead foot into punching range, and the lead foot is what determines distance, boom, the right hand lands. And a few seconds later, we're going to see the same thing. So we see Canelo step again, rear foot, and then lead foot into punching range. And now Ryder finds himself in the same position, but recognizes it too late. He either has to stand there again in the danger zone and fight Canelo, or look to escape. So naturally, Ryder takes a step back to create distance and try to reset. But like I said, it's already too late. He was already too close, and Canelo easily follows him out with a 1-1-2 combination. However, John Ryder did adapt and show he knows how to deal with this by timing his punches off of Canelo's rear foot steps. You see, stepping in with the rear foot first when moving forward does have its uses as you can see, but it is not considered fundamentally conventional for a reason. It leaves you narrow stanced, which means you're off balance, which means you won't be able to throw a meaningful punch or counter if attacked. Combine this with doing this while in punching range, and you have a recipe for making yourself vulnerable, like Canelo is here. And so Ryder is able to freely throw this 1-2 combination, with little risk of Canelo throwing a counter back, and this backs Canelo up for free. And this was the same strategy that Dimitri Bivol used to defeat Canelo Alvarez, as every time Canelo would step with his rear foot, Bivol would time it and throw his own punches and not allow Canelo to counter him back. Unfortunately for Ryder, he wasn't able to do this consistently enough to keep Canelo off of him, or land clean enough punches to win the fight, but it did allow him to survive and see the final bell. And as always, thank you to all my GOAT tier patrons, Jason Mahinen, Grant Gabriel, Albert Chen, Jeff, Namichi Drozlov, Andre, Gossali Geza, Mark Price, Marshall Bott, Swazna Bear, Jesus Galindo, Tall Lane, John Stroll, Justin Butler, as well as my channel members, Hot Pocket Maestro, and Lucas Miller. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thank you all for watching.